When we think of a pilgrimage, we think of people going someplace else, perhaps for reasons of faith to the Holy Land or Santiago de Compostela. But the World Council of Churches is suggesting we think about pilgrimage in a bold new way. Over the next few years, we are invited to support efforts for justice and peace at home and abroad by framing them in terms of a pilgrimage, a pilgrimage of justice and peace. For me, a uh, pilgrimage of justice and peace is take off your old glasses and put on your new glasses to see better or in different ways than we have seen before. For the World Council of Churches, the pilgrimage is a way of infusing the spirituality of Christian faith into work that sometimes seems political or secular. The United Church of Canada has been invited to be part of the pilgrimage. In the Canadian context, we too are invited to reframe our work for justice and peace. The pilgrimage for justice and peace invites us to pray and study, to engage in biblical and theological reflection, to have courageous conversations, to take action, to offer a pledge of commitment, and hold a public liturgy. Gloria Uyowa is a pastor of the Presbyterian Church in Colombia and serves as one of the presidents of the World Council of Churches. Para mí, el peregrinaje es un movimiento, uno de los movimientos que Dios y la vida nos han regalado para el mundo en este momento. El mundo está viviendo conflictos muy duros, muy difíciles, y necesitamos conocer lo que está ocurriendo para que haya una palabra de parte de las iglesias en solidaridad a los que sufren. El peregrinaje de justicia y paz pone en movimiento todo lo que somos como seres humanos, nuestra espiritualidad, nuestro cuerpo en función de servir a las personas que sufren. En febrero 2018, Several teams of WCC visitors from around the world made pilgrimages to Colombia. The South American country is trying to end 60 years of civil war. The process is not easy, but it's worth supporting. During and after the pilgrimage visits, the WCC participants raised their voices in support of the work for peace by Colombian churches and social movements. They pointed, as well, to what can be applied to struggles for peace and justice in other places, including Canada. We are right now in Bogota as a part of um, a pilgrim team visit. We met with many communities who are struggling for a different kind of world, a world where, um, where they have their own land to till, a world where they can build their houses without it being a burnt down the next day, a world where their children can simply play without fear of being attacked, whether by paramilitaries or guerrilla groups. I think I've learned a lot from the communities that we visited, that in spite of all the struggles and challenges that they face, they still have this hope within them and this passion to create a peace that is um, lasting, to just really envision a different kind of world. We can transform things. We can participate in some greater transformations that are taking part already, and we witness that. I mean, again, being here in, in, in Colombia, we see people who are actually transforming this conflict into a peace process, I call it. They don't transform it into peace, but into a peace process because they are carried by this hope and driven by this grace and by this, uh, this is what we call spirituality. They just believe that it must be possible, that another world is possible. For me personally, issues of uh, justice and peace have always been a priority in my life. Uh, when you are born in Malawi, in Africa, 
and you are a woman and you are black, it doesn't take long for you to realize that, you know, there's something wrong with the way you are being treated. And you know that uh, I can do something about it. You know, I should not wait for others to change the laws or to read the Bible differently. But that uh, I can let people know that the way you're reading the Bible or the way you're constructing the laws it's unjust to other people. That's not the way the world is supposed to be. And so I want to work with people of like-mindedness to transform the world so that all of us can feel that we belong. Chris Ferguson is a United Church of Canada minister who serves with the World Communion of Reformed Churches. He offered words of encouragement and challenge. It's not um, dramatic, it's simple. Uh, I think that whenever we're discussing about what we want to be as a church, I just invite us to keep our eye on the ball. And that um, if I had to summarize it briefly, let's go uh, uh, with Micah, you know, uh, that we know what's required of us. Uh, and uh, we, we know that we uh, have to uh, do justice. Uh, we have to uh, love deeply and we have to walk uh, with God. And let's go with Luke 4, you know, we're here to proclaim the good news uh, to the poor. The rest of it we know by heart, we just have to do it.